What's happening, family? It's always a great day to be better. You know, I just wanted to uh, reach out to the family today. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you. Thank you to all the beautiful people out there doing their best um, to make this world better and to help with the healing of our communities, our nation, our world. Um, you know, I, I have trained Olympians, um, hundreds of professional athletes, thousands of college and high school athletes. And those great athletes taught me something. They taught me some, some very valuable lessons. And the valuable lessons they taught me, I'd like to share with them, share them with you um, this morning because I believe that those lessons that they taught me um, could truly help us uh, during this time where in which we can create the certainty um, of success in our life. You know, one of the first thing that they taught me is that they really um, convinced themselves that they were going to be and achieve what they had set out um, to achieve. Um, whatever goal they set, whatever vision they had of themselves, they didn't worry about anybody else's opinion, what stories were coming to them, if they could, could not do. They ignored all of that and they convinced themselves that they were going to be successful. The second thing is that in their training, you know, most people when they train, when it's easy, anybody can do it. But those great athletes would always embrace the most difficult circumstances. In those difficult circumstances, they would then raise their level of focus, their attention to detail, and they would maximize their effort so that that adverse condition not only taught them something from a mental state, it taught them something from a physical state, but it let them know that when another time came that maybe might show them an adverse condition, they knew they had what it take to overcome it. The third thing that they taught is that simply they became that successful person even before they had it. So they knew they were going to be an Olympic, a gold medalist, a professional athlete. And even if, as a youth, as a child, they walked around and carried that persona. They became it. They became it all, in all aspects. So everything they did was about them fulfilling the image that they had in their minds, but they had became it completely. So those three things are simplified into three concepts that I'd just like to share that as we are in this time, we can focus and become better. First thing, you've got to see the vision. You've got to think the thoughts. You've got to be positive. You've got to know that there are only going to be positive outcomes and become definitive and convince yourself that that is the only outcome. Second part is that they would do, they would act. So in this time, don't hesitate, don't show fear, do. So if you've got an idea, if you want to improve your health and wellness, whatever it is, don't be fearful to act and do the work. Because in the doing of the work, you're gonna learn so much more about yourself. The last concept is become it, be it. So right now, start sharing in the energy, become the energy of that successful person, knowing that you are in perfect health, mentally, spiritually, and physically. We do those three things on a consistent basis, no matter what the circumstances, we will always rise above it and we will always create something new. And in that creation of something new, it's gonna always put us in a better place. 
And that's what we want to make sure that we take advantage of in this time is that we not only come through it, but we come through it better and stronger and living the lives that we have chosen to live. Thank you, family, as always. I offer you peace and to become more.